Hi guys, this is Laravel WebSocket Chat Application Tutorial Series. And under this part, we will learn, how to display, number of unread chat message notification. Under this Laravel Chat Application, by using Ratchet WebSocket Library, and Vanilla JavaScript. In previous part, we have already show you, how to real-time update, chat message status. By display WhatsApp like blue color double tick icon, using Ratchet WebSocket Library, and Vanilla JavaScript. Now for display number of unread message notification, so for this, we have goes into, dashboard.blade.php file. And under this file, we have goes into JavaScript code, and under this, we have goes into on message function. And here, we have goes into response connected user, if block of code. And here, we have to create, one span tag, for display unread notification. So here, we have to write, span tag, with class is equal to user unread message. After this, we have to write, data id attribute is equal to. Data dot data with count index dot id table column value. After this, we have to write, id attribute value is equal to, data dot data count index dot id table column. So under this tag, we will display number of unread message notification. After this, we have to make, javascript check, unread message function. Under this function, we have to write, unread element variable is equal to, document dot get element by class name method, and under this, we have to write, span tag class name user unread message. After this, we have to write, for loop, and under condition, we have to write. Count variable value is equal to 1, after this, count variable value, is less than the value of unread element dot length value. And count variable value is increment by 1, so on every interval, it will fetch span tag property. Under this loop, we have to write, temp user id variable is equal to unread element, with count index dot dataset dot id, so it will fetch data id attribute value, and store under this local variable. Now we have to write, data variable is equal to an array. And in in first key, we have to write, from user id, and in value, we have to write, from user id variable. In second key, we have to write, to user id, and in value, we have to write, temporary user id variable. And in third key, we have to write, type and in value, we have to write, check unread message. Now we want to send this data to WebSocket controller, so for this, here we have to write. Connect variable dot send function, and under this function, we have to write json.stringify function, and under this function, we have to write, data variable. So this code will send data to WebSocket controller, in json string format. Now we have goes to socket controller file, and under this, we have goes into on message method. And here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar data type value is equal to, request check unread message. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And here we want to get, number of unread chat message data, so here we have to write. Dollar chat data variable is equal to, chat model class, with select method. And under this method, we have to write, chat table column like, id, from user id, and to user id. After this, we have to write, where method with three argument. In first argument, we have to write, chat table column name, message status. In second argument, we have to write, not equal to sign. And in last argument, we have to write, read, and after this, for check login user id. 
we have to write where method with two argument and in first argument we have to write chat table column name from user id and in second argument we have to write dollar data to user id variable after this we have to write get method so this code will make this type of query and it will execute this query and return query execution result which is store in dollar chat data variable now we want to get login user connection id so here we have to write dollar sender connection id variable is equal to user class with select method and under this method we have to write connect id table column after this we have to write where method with two argument in first argument we have to write id table column name and in second argument we have to write dollar data variable with from user id variable and after this we have to write get method so it will make an execute query and store result in dollar sender connection id variable so on this connection id value we will send number of unread message notification now we want to get chat message receiver user connection id so here we have to write dollar receiver connection id variable is equal to user class with select method and under this method we have to write connect id table column after this we have to write where method with two argument in first argument we have to write id table column name and in second argument we have to write dollar data variable with to user id variable and after this we have to write get method so it will make an execute query and store result in dollar receiver connection id variable so we will send message read notification to this receiver user connection id now for send data here we have to write for each loop and under condition under condition we have to write dollar chat data variable as dollar row variable under this loop we want to update message status column value so for this here we have to write chat model class with where method with two argument in first argument we have to write chat stable column name id and in second argument we have to write dollar row with id table column value now for update data here we have to write update method and under this we have to define data in an array format so in key we have to write message status table column name and in value we have to write read so this code will update chat message status column value to read now for send to connected user so for this here we have to write for each loop we have to write dollar this with clients variable as dollar client variable under this loop first we want to send number of unread message notification to login user so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar client resource id variable value is equal to dollar sender connection id with zero index with connection id table column if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have to write dollar send data variable with count unread message is equal to 1 after this for send chat message id so here we have to write dollar send data variable with chat message id value is equal to dollar row with id table column value next we want to send from user id data so here we have to write dollar send data variable with from user id value is equal to dollar row with from user id table column value so this data will be sent to message sender user now we want to send read status to receive a user so for this here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar client with resource id variable value is equal to dollar receiver connection id with zero index with connection it table column if this condition true then it will execute it block of code Under this block we have to write dollar send data update message status variable value is equal to send After this we have to write send data chat message id variable is equal to dollar row id table column name
Next we have to write dollar cent data and read variable value is equal to 1. And for cent from user ID variable value, so here we have to write dollar cent data from user ID variable value is equal to dollar row with from user ID table column. Now for send data, so for this, here we have to write, dollar client send method. Under this method, we have to write, php json encode function, and under this function. We have to write, dollar send data variable, so it will send data, in json string format. Now again, we have goes to dashboard.blade.php file, and here, we have goes into, on message function. And here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, data.unread message. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, first we want to get span tag element ID, to whom we want to display, unread message notification. So for this, here we have to write, count unread message element variable is equal to document.getElement by id function, and under this, we have to write, span tag id user unread message, with dynamic value of data dot from user id variable value. Now we want to check, if the span tag exists or not, so for this, here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write, count unread message element variable. If span tag exists, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block, we have to write. Count unread message variable is equal to, count unread message element dot text content. So this code will fetch, text of unread span tag, and store under this, count unread message variable. After this, we have to write, count unread message variable value is equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block. We have to write, count unread message variable is equal to, pass integer function, 0, plus 1. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute, else block of code. And under this block, we want to increment, unread notification value increment by 1. So for this, here we have to write, count unread message variable, value increment by 1. Now for display unread notification, so for this, here we have to write, count unread message element variable dot inner HTML is equal to, span tag, with class is equal to, badge, badge danger and round pill. And between this tag, we have to write, count unread message variable, so it will display, number of unread message notification. After this, we want to call, check unread message function, under list of connected chat user, if block of code. So for this, here we have called, check unread message function, so when user has been logged Under chat application, then user can view number of unread message notification, in each of user. So here our code is ready, now for check output, we have goes into command prompt. And here, first we have to stop this, ratchet websocket server, and after this, we have start server, by run this command. Now here, we can see that, two user has been logged into, this chat application. First we have to refresh, web page in both user area. After this, we have goes into John Smith user, and here we have to select, this user. So here, we can see that, chat area has been appear, on the web page, with chat history. Now we have typed something in chat message area, and click on the send button. So here, we can see that, John Smith has sent message, to this user. And here, in message receiver user area, we can see that, one unread message notification, has been displayed, at John Smith user. Now we have click on the John Smith, from the list of connected user, and here we can see that. 
So after click here we can see that unread message notification has been removed and chat history has been pop up on the web page. So this way we can display unread message notification under this chat application. By using Ratchet WebSocket library and vanilla JavaScript and in next part we will show you how to display real time user online offline status under this Laravel chat application so we will be meet in next part